Repair your high blow air pump in these 12 easy to follow steps from the professionals at Septic Solutions. Here are the tools you will need for this job. Using a 5 16 socket bit, remove the four bolts holding the upper housing onto the base. Take a flathead screwdriver near the outlet port of the pump and pry their upper housing from the base. If the L tubes are tight, use a small flathead screwdriver to loosen them before pulling them off of the chamber blocks. Turn them 90 degrees to get them out of the way for the rest of the rebuild. Using a cordless drill or Phillips screwdriver, remove the four bolts holding the chamber block heads onto the pump housing. Pull off the chamber block head to expose the diaphragm. Take off the locking nut and washer in the center of the diaphragm and pull the diaphragm from the rod block. A bad diaphragm will show obvious signs of tearing. Head to the other end of the pump and repeat steps three and four. Remove the magnetic rod block and make sure it shows no signs of wear or rubbing. If it does, this part will need to be replaced. Install the new diaphragm on the threaded pole of the rod block. Then install the 7mm washer and locking nut using a nut driver or socket. Install the new chamber block head using the four Phillips bolts that were taken out of the old chamber block head in step three. Use a cordless drill or Phillips screwdriver to tighten the four bolts. Head to the other end of the pump and repeat steps 7 and 8. Reconnect the L-tubes and hose clamps and reinstall the sound absorber.
Proceed with step 10A if you have a model that includes the safety screw shutoff switch. If you have a new model that has the slider switch, proceed to step 10B. Insert the new safety screw through the aligning holes of the SP switch, brass contact, and copper contact. Tighten the screw and nut until the threads stop and the screw simply spins in place. For new models with the slider switch, simply lock the slider back in place so that it pushes the contact button in. Tighten the four bolts that hold the upper housing in place using a 5 16 inch socket bit. Remove the Phillips bolt that holds the filter cover onto the upper housing. Remove the existing filter and clean any dirt or debris in the filter housing area. Replace with the new filter included in the repair kit and attach the plastic filter cover back to the upper housing. Simple and easy. Order your repair kit online today at septicsolutions.com.